Well, this is footage of Mesa County Clerk Tina Peters in Las Vegas. This trip happened without court permission. Well, now she is due in court tomorrow. CBS4 investigator Rick Salinger has been following this case and has the very latest for all of us from the newsroom. Rick. Well, Karen, Tina Peters, accused of tampering with election equipment, is now back in Colorado and is to appear in court in Mesa County tomorrow after her attorney filed a motion to have the arrest warrant dropped. I'm mad as hell, and we're not going to take this anymore. Three, two, one. Managers. Quoting we're from a 1976 managers. movie, Tina Peters had even more reason to be mad. Video from Michael no, Lindell's no, no. website, frankspeech.com, shows Peters speaking oh, in Las God. Vegas. She was already upset about the arrest of her campaign manager, Sandra Brown. She's in jail. Our crooked DA arrested her yesterday, knowing today is her birthday. She's in the Mesa County Jail right now for impersonation. There are now three Mesa County elections employees, Peters, Brown, and Belinda Nicely, criminally accused of tampering with voting equipment by gathering sensitive images that turned up on the Internet. Peters was permitted to leave Colorado while running for Secretary of State, but she lost in the Republican primary and is now asking for a recount. This shows the race. This is going to be put out for everybody to see. It shows how the machines cheated in that election. Secretary of State Jenna Griswold said she will review the recount request. Peter's attorney, Harvey Steinberg, asked the court to quash or drop the arrest warrant for Peters. He attached an email from his client noting her travel plans to Las Vegas. The attorney said he missed the email and did not notify the court until she had already left the state. The motion to drop the arrest warrant says the DA has agreed to go along with that. Live in the newsroom, Rick Salinger covering Colorado First.